All right, what is up guys? So this is gonna be a super quick video. It's just gonna be one take. I'm just gonna explain some stuff to you guys. Um, it's been brought to my attention by Mr. Mr. What was it, Nick and Mr. Mark, maybe? Um, but apparently people are interested and would like to know how I don't think specifically myself, but how to paint rifles. Um, I always just thought this was kind of something that everyone did. Uh, how do you... Everyone kind of just has their own way of doing it, I guess. But I'm just going to show you guys mine. Um, they, those guys mentioned it in the last video, so... Figured I'd bring a couple rifles out, and uh, I don't have... Well, we could probably spray the stock or something on that one because that one does have a different stock and buffer tube on it from when it originally got sprayed. So I can at least show you that process on a, a small portion. But I figured I'd bring these out, show them to you guys, and just give you a quick quick video on how I do my rifles. So before we get into it, got to thank Brownells, biggest supporter of the channel. Um, a lot of what you see right here in front of you is from Brownells, <clears throat> and they got a lot of cool shit over there. So check them out. Link is always down below. Always. That helps out the channel. Use code BOP10. That saves you money. It does nothing for me. It just saves you some money. So BOP10, link's down below. Brownells is pretty sweet. Let's bring you in closer and talk about these rifles in the process. All right, so here we are. Um, let's, uh, how do we do this? Let's move these rifles. We will talk about this one first. So, you see it? Yes, you can. Cool. Let me, uh, let's just use the bipod. That's what it's there for. All right. Okay, sick, you can see. Um, all right, so the way that I like doing these, uh, hold that thought. All right, I'm back. So, items you're going to need, obviously paint. So, paint kind of is a big deal when it comes to painting your rifle. I like using these. These are good colors for Michigan. Uh, lots of greens, the dark brown, and the light uh, khaki, they call it like the FDE coyote color. <clears throat> um, very good for fall, winter, stuff like that. Summer. And then these are just kind of my dark colors I like using. Biggest thing with the paint is non-reflective finish. We don't want that. We don't want a glossy finish on a rifle if that's what you're going for. Um, we don't want that. So, paint... I like using four colors, and I'll explain that in the process. Other things, um, some form of like mesh is always good for laying on there, spraying. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this thinner, like smaller hole mesh. I think I like the larger holes on like a laundry bag type deal or something like that. Veg, it's perfect. See, like on those scope turrets it's good you can just get that at your local backyard um, so let's eat this out of here <coughs> leave those so um, I'm gonna explain this instead of showing I think I have some pictures of it but I want to keep this video short and I want to get it uploaded pretty much as soon as I finish recording it so when I do this I like using my light colors as my base. So when I do my base, I'm gonna take like my khaki here and I'm just gonna just do like stripes. So like three inch stripe. I always do angles like that. Don't know why, that's just the way I always do it. So I'm always doing an angle here and then I'll skip another section because that's where our green's gonna come in. Another angle, another angle, like that. So essentially you have a vertic or a angled striped base coat of your two colors. Now it depends how you want to do it. So like this, this 
hollow sun was on a rifle that I did the opposite. My dark colors were the base. My light colors were the top coat. That's why we have the khaki and the lighter green on top. And we have the darker colors below. So that's how that works. Let's drop this back on. That optic doesn't, I guess it does live on that rifle, but it's not intended for it. It's too high. It's just there for storage. So, so we got our base. Okay, we have our, vert, our angled base. There is no like, like dry time or anything like that. To be honest, not having a dry time is what I think personally gives you the best finish. So like out here on this light, you can see this light was obviously on the, um, the plastic like wrap on the ground that I had. So our light colors are showing through our dark colors. Uh, same back here on the stock. Can you see that? You can't. Yeah, you kind of see it. Back here on our stock, same thing. It's just that plastic wrap kind of like messing up the paint. I think that's actually like the best pattern to have on your rifle because it's just so obscure. There's no lines. There's no, it's just smeared kind of like paint there. So we did our lines. We have our like three, four inch angled lines. We went through now with our vegetation, our mesh, whatever. And we're hitting it with our other two colors. And this is not, you're not following these lines. You're just going kind of wherever. So like I normally will just start at an end and I pick a spot. So right here. I put my mesh, I put my vegetation, whatever, and I just hit it with a little spray. I don't do like a, a coat of it. Just hit it with a little spray. Go on whatever. I want to do one down here. I want to do one up here. I just kind of do them wherever. It doesn't really matter. Um, this whole process, process is like three minutes <laughs> max. It's not, this is not meant to be like a Picasso here. Um, the, the longest part is just taping stuff off. So tape off your trigger shoe. Um, I just like having the regular feel. I don't want the, the paint on there. Uh, your optics, like your lenses. If your optic is like a, a magnified optic and it has some form of like your turrets maybe, you have adjustable turrets or like this has uh, illumination, um, tape that. That way you can read it. Same thing out here on our light. You can see this is a Streamlight VIR tube, so we have visible, IR, off. But the turrets here, I wanted to keep those so that I could see them. And then same thing out here. Just cover your lenses and you're good to go. Um, this is not, again, don't make this into something that uh, you're trying to like perfect. Because you'll see, I'll show you another rifle here. Um, let's do my BCM. Looks pretty different than the Sons of Liberty that I just showed you. And that's because, I mean, the process is still the same. I still do it the same way. I still do my lines. Uh, same thing with colors. I do the same colors, but it just turned out different. Same thing with this mag. This mag was obviously done oh, probably when that hollow sun was done. You can see the difference. This is a lot lighter than the rifle. Uh, it's just the way you do it. Uh, just pick which colors you want to use first and then let Jesus take the wheel on that. But there's really not a whole lot to it. It's just... It's basically just pick colors, do a base, go through with uh, some natural vegetation like to your area. And yeah, then just call it good. Here's another one right here, same thing. Um, not a whole lot really to this. 
It's just tape, pick colors, spray it, and then even even um, the process of it. Just lay the fucking thing on the ground, spray one side of it, spray the base on one side, just flip the thing over. Don't, I'm telling you, just flip it over, do the base on the other side. Flip it back over. Just lay the thing down. Don't worry about it being on the ground or on the uh, whatever you're painting on plywood, plastic wrap, whatever. Just this is just to break up the outline of a rifle. That's all this is. Don't turn it into something it's not. Just paint the fucking thing. Get some lines breaking up the outline and use colors that make sense to your area. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, turn this into a hour-long video, but that's really all there is to this, guys. It's not, <clears throat> it's really not all that, but let's, uh, I'll show you the stock real quick. I'll do the stock on this rifle, uh, the quad rail rifle. All right, guys, so now we are over here. Um, I'm going to show you how to, just a real quick version of this. We got our, our light colors. We had those sitting over on the wood stove, warming up, because it's like negative 8,000 degrees here. Um, let me shake those guys up real quick. We're gonna start off with our green. You see I just threw a, a shop, like paper towel, over our red dot, because we're not painting this whole rifle, just doing this back portion. Um, so I didn't feel like taping it. And whatever happens, happens. All right, so for this, we'll just do like, we'll do half green and then half with our khaki, with our khaki. All right, looks good to me. Then, come over here. Flip this gun over. Stick our paper towel back on. Uh, what did we do? We did green on the front. Let's do it on the back on this one. Come back here. That way we know we're getting the whole thing. Excuse me, let's make sure we got it. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. So now, so essentially that would be your base. You would do that to the whole rifle. Let's put these away. All right, and now we can grab our darker colors, which have been warming up on the wood stove. Give those guys a quick shake. Um, let's start with, uh, let's do green. I like the green. Cool. Um, let's show you a little of both. So we'll do a little bit of our mesh right here. Come on, lay on there. And like I was saying in the uh, video on the tailgate, there's no like method to this. It's just random. Random is your friend. All right, let's switch to brown. Let's uh, let's do our brown with our grass here. Maybe something like this. Yeah. 
about that. So for this rifle, I'm gonna have to actually just darken this up a little bit because we had uh, the rest of this rifle is pretty dark. So something to consider. All right, cool. There's that side. Let's do the opposite. We'll do the opposite on this side. God, it's cold out here. It's like, it's like 10 degrees. It's cold. We didn't cover our optics, so we'll just be careful. for the grass. Especially for this rifle, like I said, we want this thing to be pretty dark. Um, let's go back to green. We haven't done green on this side. Sure, we got the top of our stock good. Okay, just like that. So that <laughs> right there is my finished product. Pretty much every time. Probably hit a little more green. Let's hit a little more green right there. good to me. There we go. That's pretty much how I paint every rifle I own. Super easy. Anyone can do it. Now just let that sit. Hopefully it darkens up. It'll look more like this. It will be good. So that is my crash course on painting a rifle. Pretty easy. Even a caveman can do it. Oh yeah. So, um, Hit like and subscribe. Stay tuned. If you ever want to see something like this, just let me know in the comments. Peace. Love you.